guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this really dramatic, colourful eye look with a simple nude lip and extra glow as usual. Um, so if you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. So the first step I'm going to do is carve out my brows and also at the same time prime my eyelids. And for that I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm going to use this little square flat brush if it'll focus there we go I'm just gonna apply some of this straight to my eyelid and I'm also gonna apply some above my brow I accidentally did my good eye off camera so this is a bit of a bad angle of my face but it's gonna have to do Does anyone else have a good side? Like for me, that's my good side. That's like my good angle. And this is like my bad angle. I don't know, my nose looks just looks weird and stuff. So you can already see the difference that that made. Like it just made it look so much more cleaner and neat. And I'll blend that out properly after I finish carving the brow so now I'm just gonna go on top of the brow and just slowly shape it. Now I'm just gonna take a different brush and just blend that all in so it's not thick and cakey because we want a nice smooth surface and excuse my dry cracked lips they're just so dry they tend to get super dry in winter now to set that base down and make sure it doesn't crease, I'm going to go in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless setting powder and just tap that all over my eyelid, making sure there's no creases. Like make sure you blend out the concealer first, making sure there's no creases and then apply the powder. And I'm kind of leaving the inner part free of powder. I mean it doesn't matter if you get powder there but I'm just leaving that free because I am going to like do the half cut crease like I did on the other side. So I'll, go, I'll be going back in with concealer. This is mostly just so that the eyeshadows blend nice and smoothly and don't tug and create like patchy eyeshadow. Okay, now for my transition shade, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Geek Single Eyeshadow in the shade Cupcake. I'm just taking a really big fluffy brush like this and literally just applying that to my transition area and just building that colour up until I get the intensity that I want. For the next shade, I'm going in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette and I'm taking the shade Savage, which is this bright pink colour. And this is going to act as another transition shade, but to make it more pink and more intensified. So once again just adding that to the transition area. Add it to the outer V as well. Now to really intensify my crease and make it really bright and pink, I'm going in with my Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow in the shade Radioactive. This is like a really bright pigmented neon pink. So I'm taking that into my crease. And you can see that that shade is much more neon than the one in the... Urban Decay Electric Palette. Then going back with the brush that I used for the um, Savage Colour from the Electric Palette. Not putting on any extra product, just using whatever's on there and blending all that out so that it's a smooth transition and not, and there is no harsh lines. Going back in with my Urban Decay Electric Palette, I'm going to take the shade Jilted and applying this 
into the outer crease. Once again, going back and blending those colours together. And now I'm going to take the shade Urban from the same palette, which is a darker purple than Jilted. It's more cool tone, more of a blue purple. And I'm going to, once again, apply this to the outer corner. Going back and blending. Now I'm going into another Makeup Geek single eyeshadow in the shade Vanilla Bean. And I'm just going to apply this to my brow bone as a highlight because I wanted a matte highlight. Now I'm going back in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I'm about to carve my half cut crease. So starting from the inner corner. Tilting my head back so that I can see my natural shape of my crease and just dragging that halfway. And you want to use a small brush just for precision so that you can really get in there and get your lines nice and neat. It's a little bit hard with my eyes because I do have like quite creasy eyes. I have a lot of folds and creases so quite tricky. Now I'm going in with the shade Gonzo from the Electric Palette and I'm just going to pack this onto my brush and tap it onto the area where I added all that concealer to cut the crease. Now this will look a little crazy at first until I get it like perfect because it tends to look patchy at first. When I was creating this look, I was like, shit, it's not going to work out, it's going all patchy, it looks shit, but it all worked out in the end. Okay, so as you can see, it's looking quite shit and patchy at the moment, but don't worry, if you have some sort of blue pigment, like a shimmery pigment that you can use over the top of that, it'll work perfectly. Today I'm using my NYX... Um, pearl pigment in Space Pearl and it's just going to even it out, add some shimmer and just look much better. And I'm going to apply that all over the blue that I just applied. Now as you can see those two shades aren't really blending nicely so I'm going to go in with Chaos from the Urban Decay Electric Palette once again and I'm going to take that on my brush and pack that into my outer corner and it'll also add some depth and darkness to the eyes. Now going back into the urban shade and just packing it on like so. Okay now I'm going to take this tape off and we're going to see the nice sharp line that we've created. So it's nice and straight and sharp and as you can see there's heaps of fallout because we've used bright colours. So I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and wipe that mess away. Now I'm going in with some Inglot gel liner in the number 77 which is just a really black shade. And I'm just going to apply this on my lash line. I'm not creating a wing. I don't want a wing. I just want something to sit the lashes on so I'm just going to line the lash line. Now I'm going to make I'm going to add some mascara and falsies off camera just to save time. The eyelashes that I'm using are these ones from eBay. I will leave them linked down below because I'm not sure of the name of the seller. Um, and for mascara I'm just using my Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions Mascara. Mascaras don't really work for me, so I just use whatever I've got, and this is what I've got handy right now. So I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be right back. So moving on to the face, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and applying this all over my face. I want a nice, smooth canvas for when I apply my foundation, because I am going to be applying a full coverage foundation. 
because I really wanted to go all out today with full glam. I feel like this primer is so nice because it smooths out all my bumps that I have on my face and my lines, it just feels really smooth. Now I'm going in with another primer just to add some glow to my face. So this is the L'Oreal Lumi Magique primer. The foundation that I'm gonna be using is quite matte and I just wanna add some moisture to my face. And just for even more added moisture, I think that I'll go in with my MAC Studio Fix, sorry, Fix Plus and just spritz this just a little bit on my face and I'll let that soak in before I apply my foundation. Now for foundation, I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. This might be slightly too dark for me, but I'll make it work. And just taking my damp beauty blender. I have to go pick up my son from school like this. Luckily he just walks out to me, but and I have to stop at the shops and I'm going to be dressed like a bum and have all this makeup on. My life story. Okay, I think I've blended that to perfection. Okay, now I'm going to go in with some concealer to brighten my face, especially my under eyes because they're so dark. I was up so late last night with heartburn, like 2 in the morning maybe. It was so bad. So I'm going to apply some of this. And this will also lighten up the foundation as well. And once again, just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and setting all those concealer areas, all the areas that crease on me. So underneath my eyes, my smile lines 100% need to be set, especially with this foundation, because it's so full coverage. Okay, now that I look like a snowman, so I'm just going to let that sit for a bit, and I'll go back to the eyes and just smoke out the lower lash line. I'm going to take a black eyeshadow from Makeup Geek called Corrupt, and just a small pencil brush, and run that along my lower lash line. So it's looking pretty crazy and harsh right now, but I'm also going to go in with... Um, Savage from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and also run that underneath the lash line. The only thing left is to highlight the inner corner and I want my highlight to be really, really intense on the inner corner. So I'm going to go in with another pigment by NYX and this is White Pearl and I'm just going to go to town and highlight the shit out of my inner corner. These pearl pigments by NYX are insane. Now moving on back to the rest of the face. To set the rest of my face, um, not like the parts where I put the translucent powder, just the other part that I didn't apply that to, I'm going to go in with my Australis Fresh and Flawless powder and set my face. Not too much because this foundation is already so matte. Um, I'm just applying this so that the bronzer and stuff doesn't catch. Okay, so now I'm looking really flat and pale. So I'm going to go in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer, of course. Ever since I purchased one, I just can't stop using it. I'm obsessed and I use it with a big fluffy brush. Because I don't, I don't really contour all that much. I just like to bronze my face. So I'm going to spend another 10 years doing this, so I'll do the rest of that off camera so that we're not here for 10 years. Okay guys, now for blush, I'm going to go in with my MAC Cosmetics Melba blush. I'm sorry, I always use this, but I just love it so much. And I don't really own too many blushes, to be completely honest. But this blush just goes with any look, as I've said in plenty of my videos. Now for highlight, I'm going to go to town with my Melt Cosmetics Digital Dust Highlight in the shade Stargazer. So I'm going to apply heaps of that all over the place.
Now for the lips, I want to keep the lips really simple and neutral and not too bright and out there because my eyes are like, whoa, they're so bright and dramatic. So I'm going to go in with my Melt Cosmetics Nude Lipstick. This is just a matte, really nude lipstick. And I'm just going to apply that. And I might apply a gloss over the top of it because my lips are quite dry. I like the way it looks matte though. I might just leave it matte. And now I'm going to apply a lot of highlight on my lips just to give them more dimension and make them look really like zhuzh and plump. So that concludes this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Please subscribe to my channel to be updated on latest uploads. And also if you are subscribed, make sure to hit the bell notification button, which lets you know when I've uploaded a video, just so that my videos don't go unnoticed. Cause I have noticed for a while now, my more recent videos aren't getting many views at all. Which is not a big deal, I do it because I love doing it, but I would like to grow my channel eventually. Um, but yeah, back when I first started I was getting like, if you look at my most popular video, it's like 56,000 views or something like that. And it's kind of disheartening to see, but I am going to keep going just purely because I love makeup and I love filming. I love the creative process, it just gives me life. <laughs> So yeah, I hope you kind of like these talk through videos. I mean, I haven't done one in a while. Most of my recent videos are voiceovers, so I thought that I would have a little chit chat with you while I get ready. I mean, not, it wasn't much of a chit chat, I was just explaining what I was doing to use on camera instead of a voiceover. So I hope you like that. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Please let me know. Leave me comments. I love to reply to you guys. I love to interact and speak with you. Um, Leave me video suggestions down below. Follow me on all my other social media, which is also linked down below. Um, all info is down below anyways. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.